Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl, Coach Chi. Listen, I'm coming to you today with some hot nuggets that I think you should get your pen and paper out and be prepared to take copious notes because I'm about to show you how you can flat out get scrappy. Whoa, 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 wait, Coach. What is scrappy? Well, let me break it down and be very simple for you guys. Uh, I want you to know this. Um, when you're out here and you're on your grind and you're facing what seems to be this insurmountable problem, I want you to get scrappy, right? I'm not saying catty. I'm not saying like downright bitchy, but I'm saying I want you to get scrappy. What do you need to do? Get that paper out. I want you to write down the problem, period. Then I want you to write down your current solution. Then I want you to brainstorm 10 outside of the box ways to solving the problem. See, a lot of times, and guys, you hear me talk about this analogy when I talk about coloring. I don't do the lines. I don't know who created the lines. It doesn't matter. The lines are simply there to guide you. They do not define you. And they nothing says that you have to stay inside. So are you ready to get scrappy with me? Because we're going to show you, well, I'm going to show you as Coach She does. I'm going to show you how to get scrappy and I'm going to show you how to get the results that you want. So point number one today is I want you to keep it classy at all times. She's such a lady, right? Yes, people should think that about you at all times. Keep it classy. Guys, being scrappy does have its limits and I'm not really a limits person, but I'm going to say this without contradicting myself. Being scrappy has its limits. There is a limit to how creative you can be without being creepy, right? So Here's what I'm telling you. If you want something, what is it that I need to do, coach? You got to be aggressive. You got to get creative. You got to change the game. You got to stand out. You got to use your common sense in the process, okay? Because if a tactic is not working, don't get stuck there. Move on. So many people are sitting behind parked bread trucks. You know, the ones that say, hmm, I wonder. No, but true story, in real life, there are people who are out here and so the first way you tried to do it didn't work. So you got stuck and you haven't moved on. Well, well, what makes a difference, coach? Your attitude. Let me help you help you really be really queer, clear. Being scrappy is not just a set of action plans. It's a mindset. Let me say it again. Being scrappy is a mindset. You, you got to become a scrappy person by constantly pushing the boundaries. Who said that that's as good as it's going to get? What is it that everyone else is doing? Now, how can you be different? How can your product stand out different? How can what you offer to the masses be different? How can your service be different? What is it that you can be, do to be different to make your mark? It's an attitude. It's a mindset. I am different. I'm bold. I'm proud to be different. But I'm scrappy in a good way, right? Plan number, part number four, guys, here is that you got a plan. And I know you hear this time and time again, but scrappy plans, guys, they are uncompromisingly specific. And you should know exactly what you will do, how you'll do it, when you'll do it, and who you're going to do it with. Who's on your team? What do I need to do, coach? Let me ask you this. Who's on your team? What's the target audience you're going after? What are the specifics on how you plan to execute and implement this ideal? You got to get down to the nuts and bolts. This is going to require some detail and some planning, right? Rome was not built in a day. And I know you've heard that, but I'm talking about getting scrappy. Yes, she is. Then I'm going to tell you point number five. Baby, it's time to execute. Some of y'all been sitting on the bench and I'm going to tell you something. Your plans are useless without execution. Guys, when the game is on the line, you eventually are going to have to shoot the ball. Can you imagine LeBron James out there on the court and he hasn't taken the shot? What are you waiting for? An invitation? Oh, you waiting for permission. Is that what it is? Well, let me help you with something. If you feel hesitation in your spirit, I'm going to tell you guys that you got to ask yourself some key questions. And I want you to come on in a little closer. I need you to hear me. Hear me. Do you see me? I want you to look into my eyeballs. If I do not do this, if I do not take this shot, will I regret it? Let me say that again. If you do not do this, if you do not take this shot, if you don't take that next step, will you regret it? I hope you got my point. Now I want you to execute. Go ahead and act. But here's some key things that you need to understand because so many people are in this game for a temporary fix. They want a quick hit. Eh, in and out. But are you in it for the long game? Because I'm in this thing for the long game. I became an entrepreneur for the long game. 
I'm unjustifiable. I'm unapologetic. I owe no man an explanation. I do me because I know what my goals are and I understand assignment and alignment. So know and understand your long game. A quick solution, guys, it may be what you're looking for, but sometimes a more complex relationship requires keeping your long game at hand. Your long game, the long term. What is it going to look like years from now? What's the five-year plan? Let me help you with something. Say to yourself, get in that mirror, slap yourself a little silly and say, I refuse to be forgotten. Make your mark. Find a creative way to deliver your message and stay connected. Stay plugged in. I told you guys in a previous video, find your tribe, your tribe. Your business isn't for everyone. Your service isn't for everyone. Everyone can't handle you and everyone don't need to. So ultimately, you got to find your tribe. You got to make sure you're plugged in and you're connected and that you're getting what you need and the world knows that you're making your mark. So if you've made some recent achievements, let the world know, but get plugged in. My next point, number six, is mentorship. It is so critical. I think people get intimidated when they think that they're missing something or you're doing something without them. Let me tell you something. I've been blessed with some of the most amazing mentors on my journey for the last 12 years as an entrepreneur, right? I've been an entrepreneur for 12 years, not a network marketer. So many people put titles on me and limits. Network marketing is one stream of my income. But I'm going to tell you something. I've got some of the best mentors in the games, period, right? And the most successful mentoring relationships succeed when the protege does the significant work and the protege understands that they are responsible for making it happen. The mentor is only the guide. So many of you are waiting for the mentor to do the work. You're waiting on the handout and you should be the person out there with your hands up. You should be grinding. You should be beating the pavement. You should be seeking out the people who have the skills, who have mastered it. I'm on a seven, eight figure run, not a six figure, my nigga. Somebody's going to edit that, but who cares, right? You got to seek out specific people that you need. In the areas of deficiency that I have, and there are several, I seek out people who are stronger than me. So as I mature and as I grow, I can get exactly what I need. And the only thing I want you to understand in a mentor relationship, it ain't your daddy, it ain't your brother. It's a situation where you are focusing on a knowledge transfer. As a mentee, you got to be prepared to put the sweat in. You got to be prepared to go the long road. You got to be prepared to understand that this is a relationship that's going to be about guidance not about them doing the work. And here's the thing. Let me deliver some of you right now. You think that you need all this money in the world to get scrappy. Nah, not true. Oftentimes, I'm going to tell you some guys, I've done some amazing things without a dollar to my name, right? So oftentimes, guys, the splashiest, the scrappiest behavior, it does not require that your pocketbook be on display. It doesn't require that your pocketbook be memorable. What you have, your time, your creativity can serve as some of your greatest assets. And you got to find bold and brash outlets that are going to allow you to get FaceTime with your mark, that are going to allow you to get whatever it is you're, you want to do or you have to offer in front of the right people. And often, sometimes that person that you've been trying to meet, why don't you call and offer to drive him or her to the airport? Why don't you reach out and provide an introduction that is essential to achieving your goals? Some of you in network marketing, we call it our chicken list. Call those people that you love, that you just, you wish you could talk to. I only got a few more minutes with you guys because this is just 10 minutes of power, right? But I want you to understand that you need uh, to master self-selection. What does that mean, coach? You're never going to know how to make anything happen in your life until you try. I'm going to tell you something. Don't say no for another person. Step into your yes in, in this season. This is plain and simple. Stop saying no. Step into your yes. And find some untraditional ways to connect. That's my last point, guys. I'm running out of time. But you got to find some untraditional ways to connect. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink it. Don't go into analysis paralysis. If you have to, small actions will have a bigger impact than you could ever imagine. Reach out to people on a more or on more unique levels. Send them birthday cards. Remember the holidays. Take a meeting outside of your zone. Take go to a trade show. Get a booth. Re rent it. Execute it. Let people know you came to play. And remember, you will not be forgotten. Guys, it's time to be scrappy. If nothing else, you have to understand this. Success requires that you take action. 
period, hands down. And it's going to require that you not only take action to further yourself, but people who are willing to get scrappy, mm-hmm, they're going to reap greater rewards than those who do not. Scrappy is not grimy. Scrappy is not cutthroat. Scrappy is not uh, vindictive. But Scrappy is doing the work, thinking big, taking the risk, and having the balls and the drive to be all in on that new thing that you're looking to do in this season. Guys, I am so excited because it takes attitude. It takes strategy. It takes ex execution to make things happen. And remember, your Scrappy action, guys, isn't typically going to be a one-time end all effort it is a long haul if you take action hear me now to get to the next best step guys in earning the right to be heard in earning your right to be seen and earning your right to be noticed and earning your right to be unforgettable i see great things for you so with that being said guys i am my product get coached up this is the moment with coach chi listen if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired and you're truly ready to invest in yourself and go to the next level well hit me up share this video if you know somebody who else needs to be scrappy who needs to go to the next level bless somebody else with the transfer of knowledge and you know what get yourself in game shape stop sitting on the bench take the shot and of course i'll see you at the top my friends because yes the bottom is just too crowded guys go out there and make it a great day ciao